Anybody else notice that YouTube changed back to the old style subscriber feed? When did this happen? Before it used to be like all the blocks, eh? Like you'd have like all these movies be tiled on the screen, like boom, 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 and they'd be categorized by the day. And I was actually getting pretty used to that. Then they went back to the old style. What are they fucking doing? Friggin' Google, man. They just can't friggin' decide like what they like better, and they just keep friggin' around with it. They need to stop that, probably. I was just getting used to the other format and really liking it because it was like, oh, did I watch that video? I don't know. And if it was like a day old, and chances are I watched it, but at least they still put the watch notification onto it. So with the watch notification, it lets me know that I've already seen that one. Friggin' YouTube's digging around with the settings big times. They have sons of bitches. But anyway, people, today is Friday, as you saw on the thing. I'm thinking about getting rid of that intro style and uh, just going to basic vlogging, not mentioning what day. And actually, I was thinking about once I hit 1,500 vlogs that I was going to drop the, uh, no, at the beginning of the video, it's like vlog 1,440 or 41, or I think this one here is probably 41. I was thinking about stopping doing that. And I know a lot of people like that format because it lets them know what date is and stuff. But honestly, you probably forget after the first 15 seconds that uh, the date was wrong because I fucked up. And uh, yeah, so I was thinking about just saying screw it and dropping the hole. Look at him. Dropping the hole. Look at her. She's so cute. she got like white fur. Why do you have white fur on you? What is this white fur? What is that? What is that? Somebody wants your belly wrapped? You like your belly? Oh, you love your belly wrapped. Yeah, yeah, you do. Oh, you're such a good kitty. Oh, you're such a good kitty. Are we just having a sit? Yeah, we are. So I have a feeling tonight's going to be a real hoor at work. If you're wondering why I went downstairs, because I had thick shit. But uh, right now I'm doing some YouTube work here. And, uh, yeah. I got videos editing on one rig. I got videos copying, on, copying over on another rig. I got so much shit going on right now, and I got about 30 minutes before I got to depart for work. I love it. Today, apparently, it's super busy at work. Everybody's calling in from the holidays, like from uh, yesterday, basically. Because even though on your statement you receive in the mail, and if you do electronic statements in the email, it says, Tech support open 24-7, 365. People don't read that. And then they call in the day after. But here's hoping that come nighttime, because it is a Friday night, here's hoping that it's really dead tonight. Because, yeah, I'm just not feeling that. <laughs> just not, I'm just not feeling being helpful today. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Just fuck this beard's out of control, eh? Jeez Louise. Look at this. I got some. I might uh, bust out my trimmer and trim it all down to one size and then just let it grow out again and see what happens. I think tonight I might even shave my head again. Very good. It's getting pretty ridiculous. And I found the parts for my razor blade that uh, they let you do it like the ears so I can get in there and properly trim around my ears so I don't look like a complete invalid when I'm walking around and stuff. You know, maybe girls will look at me. Ha! <laughs> That's funny, eh? Alrighty, so all my vlogs are edited and all my game videos are edited and everything is getting uploaded as we speak. So that's bonus. I'm still obviously behind on vlogs because I'm only good till Monday, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I think come 1500, I'm going to change the way I do the. Uh, uh, come on, brain. Just work with me a little bit. The thumbnails. There we go. Fuck, the brain shut down there for half a second. And uh, yeah, so I'm thinking that's when I'm going to do the thumbnails. Uh, I'm going to stop with numbering them and just go with it. Some people out there were like, oh, dude, you can totally beat uh, CTFXC in the number of vlogs and stuff. And it's like, no, I can't because he's still going and he's over like 2,500 vlogs. So he's kind of got me beat a little bit by like a lot. You know what I'm saying? But uh, not a big deal because I'm not really competing. I'm just doing YouTube for funds. I don't really need to be in the Guinness World of Records. I probably would be in there for the most times farted in a day because... Fuck seeks my arse never shuts up. It's always barking, you know what I'm saying? It's always barking, like my dog. But anyway, people, it's friggin' almost 3.30 there. I fired up the car a while ago. Anyway, I just wanted to grab my e-darts, and then we're gonna head her out. 
and uh, go to work fun. I'm not looking forward to this. It's going to be busier than a friggin' son of a whore. I know it. Alrighty, let's burn rubber and get off to work and get this horse show over with and then come home and do stuff again. Freak you out. And you're probably wondering why I showed you that transport and then that sign. Well, that transport was on a road where you shouldn't have been, and if the cops would have caught him, he would have been fucked. My goodness, if I wouldn't have been paying attention when he turned, I would have fucking slammed right into that tractor. Easily. I would have wrecked my shit. But uh, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm not shutting the vlog down here, people. I'm going to go for a full day today. Probably do some vlogging on my brakes. We'll see how this place gets me going. It's so bad, eh? Like... In the morning I wake up, I'm all energized, ready to go. And then, and I felt great, like the whole time I was off, I felt fantastic, 100% awesome. And then I come back to this place and work here for one day, and last night I was ready to punch out a kitten. Like, it's fucked, man. This place really cocks with my friggin' pliance. Like, you would not believe. And like, I was chatting with Mike and stuff, and he wants to get me involved in the e-sacred business. And he's going to pay me to mix up juices because he's just too busy. Like, he's opening up a new shop in Chatham. Uh, he showed me the store location, and it's uh, right now currently being renovated and all that. And it's a nice freaking store. He's doing a lot of work down there, which means he's got to go down there now and find somebody to run the store. You know, try and find somebody reliable to run the store. He hired my friend to work at the, uh, the one here in town, Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. And then he's going to work at Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, he's going to be down in Chatham. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, he's going to be here and have somebody else working in Chatham. Like, he's running around. He just doesn't have the time to mix the juices and doesn't have the time to do inventory control. And he basically wants a dick to do all the inner workings of the business while he's dropping more shops. So that's where he wants me to come in. And I'd be willing to do that. And... You know, maybe do that while running the North Bay shop. I could set up, the, the North Bay shop has two rooms. It's got a room in the front, which is the sales floor, and a room in the back, which is vacant. We could easily set that up into a dry room. And uh, I could be mixing juice while working there. Just put a buzzer or a ringer. Oh, there's a buzzer on the door. So basically when somebody comes in, I just pop out the back room while I'm mixing up the juices and stuff, getting the inventory ready to go. But, uh, yeah, like, it's definitely a business I'd be interested in getting involved in, because you, you know me, I love my darts, like, just can't get enough of the darts. Yeah, so being involved in that business would be awesome, and what's also cool is any new products he gets in, he would let me basically use for a YouTube video to review, so I wouldn't have to buy darts, I would just be able to get darts, you know what I'm saying? Or there's a new product which I think would do good around here. I tell him, and he ordered it, or I tell him, he confirms it, and then we order it up. You know, I order it up. So I'm like, dude, I can probably push these. Like with the eye sticks, you can push eye sticks. They're friggin' awesome. It's a great device. You know, IPV2S. This is the tube, but the 2S. You can push that. That's a good device. You know, uh, the IPV3 would piss off a lot of people. Don't know if I'd go with that route because the fact that you can't USB charge it 
and you always got to take the batteries out to, and put new batteries in and you need a separate charger for it kind of a pain in the cock especially if you don't want to buy four sets of batteries and you don't want to carry around a screwdriver with you because the IPv3 has little screws like that holding the back cover on, not magnets, which is stupid. Apparently the Segeli mod, they fix that and there's magnets on it, so it makes it easier to pull the back cover off, swap in new batteries and carry on with your friggin' addiction. Freak sakes, look at me talking vape. I better get in there. I'll talk to you guys in my break, maybe my lunch or after work. I don't know. Just go with it. Huh. Gas must be free today. Fuck yeah. Epic fuel economy! Alrighty people, I was planning on vlogging at like 8 o'clock when I came out for my break or my lunch or whatever, but uh, I never did. Rex ended up showing up and... Turn off the fucking heater there, Jesus. But uh, Rex ended up showing up and then we just kind of chatted and stuff and hung out and... And then I was stupid and forgot my camera out here and I left it out here. Now I had an hour and 30 minutes of recording time. Left my camera out here in the cold. It's minus 15 C, as you saw from my uh, little clip before there. And um, the camera froze and the battery shit the bed. Friggin' lost all of her charge because of the cold. I don't know how friggin' Priuses do it. How their lithium ion batteries can survive in the cold. Maybe they're built differently. I don't know. But all I know is this camera battery does not like being cold. My cell phone does not like being cold. These friggin' e darts with the 18650s. I left my friggin' eye stick in the car too with the camera and it's dead. I was able to put a charge back onto it, but God, she don't like the cold. That much is for sure. Anyway, let's go home. Oh, frig yeah, we're finally home. I just let the dog back in. Friggin' awesome, got some mail. It's a bunch of junk. It's friggin' flyers and I never laugh my ass off because this combination of flyers is freaking hilarious. So we got the double delicious from Who's that from? Two for one pizza. Double delicious, right? Then we got the $20 savings aside. Try our new turkey sausage egg breakfast. That sounds actually not too bad, but all this. And then they give you the one touch, the diabetes meter. <laughs> so here's a bunch of fast food coupons. And here's a way to check that you have diabetes after eating it all. Fuck's sakes, eh? Oh my goodness. Ready to get more from your diabetes meter than just a number? Are you ready for that kind? Freaking right, you probably are. But my goodness, what a fucking horror show of a shift tonight was. Sitting there, and I get a call from a customer, and they're all like, yeah, my internet hasn't worked since New Year's. What's going on? And I'm like, oh, let me get into your account. I get into the account, the account's suspended because the fucker owes us a bunch of money. So I'm like, oh, yeah, your account's been suspended because you didn't pay your bill. And he's like, I just paid my bill on the, on the, uh, on the first. And I'm like, that was yesterday, bro and everything's closed, including banks. And he's like, well, can you at least turn on my internet? And I'm like, no, uh, not without, like, we need proof that you, and he starts beaking off at me like hardcore. Like, fuck shakes, man. Jesus, wouldn't this suck if this was you without internet? Wouldn't you do, wouldn't you want something done about it? And I'm like, bro, I pay my bill, <laughs> you know? All you gotta do is pay your bill. <laughs> and he starts beaking off more and more and more. And I'm like, sir, you know what? If you would have just paid your bill every month, you'd have internet now and this would be avoided. You're getting mad at me. There's nothing I can do. He starts beaking off some more and I'm like, all right, sir, well, have yourself a good time and uh, call in on Monday and get that all resolved, will you? Thanks, bye. Like, is it really that hard of a concept? If you don't pay your bill, your service will be disconnected. You don't pay your hydro bill, your hydro gets disconnected. You live in the dark. You don't pay your fucking water bill. Your taps don't work. You don't pay your gas bill. Your furnace has nothing to cook to make the heating house, you know? It's a simple freaking thing. I don't know. And the way that companies make their money off of it is you don't pay your bill, and then they just tag you with a big old friggin' interest fine, right? You know, and they'll slap like 27% interest onto it for the next month. But uh, I've been going since with my router there upstairs, and I haven't reactivated my camera, so I don't even think, why did I need to plug that in? Oh, because the Wi-Fi password's changed. Okay, I need to grab a laptop, and then, uh, come down here and reprogram these fucking cameras to connect them to my network because uh, that's kind of dick hard. Alrighty, change of plan on the uh, cameras. I need to uh, charge up my netbook so I can use my netbook to uh, <laughs> to friggin uh, configure the uh, the network, the, the network cameras because uh, no. Fuck it, let's try the WPS method. 
I can't remember why I said I wanted to use my laptop. I think that was if, if I didn't change the network over, then I would have to use my laptop to uh, reprogram the cameras. But I'm pretty sure I can just go back here and there should be a button back here to press. Should be like right fucking there. I don't know how long you gotta press it for. Something's supposed to flash on this thing. Everything flashing back here. And then we go upstairs and we press the WPS light button on the uh, router. I just kicked my dog in the head because he doesn't have any fucking boundaries. But anyway, we click the WPS button on the router and that should theoretically lock in. Yeah, I'm thinking about bringing that nightstand from downstairs, upstairs, and uh, using it in that room to put my router on and shit. But theoretically, fuck seeks. Okay, let's get a fucking laptop. I'm stupid sometimes. Here I am all friggin' oh, I gotta make sure I have WPS and stuff. You can do it remotely from the fucking web interface. So theoretically, I can come down here, turn on my television, sit at this computer, and do this. So this thing here, is it flashing away right now? No. If I make it flash away, what happens? Okay, now it's flashing. Now I can tell, because if I turn off this light, you can see the blue flashing. So now I go over here to my computer, and we go ahead to Google Chrome. If my mouse was turned on, wake up computer. Okay, I gotta do some shit first. Found out the majority of my input lag is actually caused by the TV's true motion. Works awesome when you're watching videos, garbage when you're just in Windows. So from the WPS screen, all you do is go down here to WPS method, click at the push button, like so. I already got uh, this camera, it's already locked into place. So you yeah, just go to push button, click on start, and then it'll freak out. And my camera will Sony, see it says start WPS process. And then we come flying over here, past the googly eyed dog, over to this camera, which is all dickered, and press the bouton in the back. <clears throat> press it for a little longer probably. There we go. And that should realize there's a wireless network and hope the fuck it gets along with it. Give it a sec. There we go. From red to green. So pristine and clean. And back to red. For fuck's sakes, why? And back to green. Oh, this must be a pig iron camera. Son of a bitch. Oh no, we're good. So now we should have access to the Wi-Fi camera grid. I was thinking about setting this one here up, maybe over there, or actually over there in the corner, and then I could have it angle, like try and catch this area. So it would, my dog would get the fuck out of my way. Jesus Christ. Like put it right here type thing. And if I could get out of the shot, it would give like that kind of a shot. So you'd see the couch, and you'd see into the kitchen through the elliptical. And that could be kind of neat, kind of another sh another angle. I want to get some more of those cameras and set them up all... What the fuck's your problem? Get some more of those cameras and just set them up all over the house. And then have like the multi-angled shot, and then go to my freaking recording software and hit like record, and just let it go and record a night in the house. Could be kind of fun. But I need to recenter this one here, and she's aimed a little high, so we'll get her right about there. Because yeah, this these wires are like what, maybe, maybe three feet long, maybe not even, maybe four feet long, probably. What do you find? What'd you find? What is that? Is that your toy? Look at how happy he gets. He starts, he starts wiggle walking. Look at him. <laughs> you gonna throw your frisbee? You gonna throw it? You gonna beat him up? You mad at him? Did he steal your girlfriend? Is that where you're mad at him? Can all you do is growl? Oh yeah, give it the Pomeranian death roll. Fuck yeah, bud, you got her. He's dead. Done, game over. Look at his white belly. I want to pet it. Lay down. Give me your belly. Give me your belly. Rawr, you're so fluffy.
All right, I just want to make sure both cameras are green. Both are green. Let's go upstairs and give them a test. We'll see if the software picks them up. Friggin' rights it does. What kind of frames are we getting? 12, 11, 11. Friggin' rights it does. Yeah, buddy. But anyway, people, I'm going to end the vlog here because it's almost 1 o'clock. I want to go to bed early tonight. i got some shit to do tomorrow. Mike wants me to come down to the vape shop. He's got a bunch of new stock in that he wants to show me and see what I think of it and stuff. So probably going to go to the vape shop. I don't know what else is going on tomorrow. I know I want to do some work in the garage and fix that door permanently probably. So that's a thought. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to kill the vlog here and then uh, go from there. So thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you liked it. Kind of reminded me of back in the day when I used to vlog and do full day vlogs and and all that and come home at midnight and shut her down and then fuck edit and upload right away and then go to bed at six in the morning and wake up the next day going Ugh, it's two o'clock in the afternoon and make me shit you know you know what I mean but now I don't have to edit in the afternoon I can edit whenever I want because I have a buffer which is freaking bonus so you got a little bit of free play you can actually go to bed late and not wake up or not go to bed late go to bed at a decent hour and then get up at a good hour and not feel like a bag of shit and that fucking cat she is in the sink. Look, you can see her little tail. Oh, man. And then I get up, and I start, I stomp, and she's like, oh, shit. Oh, I gotta run. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in poo-poo. Fucking cat. But anyway, people, shutting her down. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like the video, all that nonsense if you like. Thanks for watching it. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.